Okay, if you are traveling between Springfield and Table Rock Lake, I have a place you absolutely have to stop for. Trust me on this one. I am at Bear Creek Wine Company and Brewery and Bed and Breakfast. This is Mandy, and Mandy, you're the manager here, but your mother started this 20 years ago. She did, yes. As a bed and breakfast only. Yes. And look at what it's become. What all do you have here at Bear Creek? Um, we have a winery, a brewery, um, we have six cabins, three suites, all with private hot tubs. We serve breakfast each morning to all those lodging guests. Um, and then we do weddings and events. Okay, like I said, they do a lot of things here. Let's back up for a second to the winery. So you had the bed and breakfast. How did you get started doing the wines? Um, we wanted Missouri wines and beers for our events. Um, and so we did that for, for quite a few years and then we just decided why don't we make our own wine. So then we started doing that. And then um, my husband wanted to start making beer. So we started that about two years ago. Um, and so it's just kind of snowballed into all the cabins and event spaces, the winery and the brewery. I love how you say, oh, we just started doing wine. I mean, who just starts doing wine? <laughs> you do, and you do it so well. All right, you have one that you've brought out today called Bear's Breath. I'll let you pour a little bit of that. Tell me about it. You, you picked a dry red, which Mandy is my favorite. I don't know how you knew that. Yes, yeah, so it is Chamberson and Syrah. Oh. And it's oak age, 15 mm -hmm. months. Um, all the grapes are Missouri grown grapes. How many different wines do you do here? Um, total, I believe we're around 11 now. Really? So we do all the fruit wines on site along with all the beer. Um, and then all of our grape wines come from about three hours north where the grapes are grown. Okay, gotcha. Now your husband said, well, if we're gonna do wine, we have to do beer. And this looks to me like maybe one of your beer flights? Yes, uh-huh. Okay, talk about the different beers that you've got. Um, so I've got Southern, um, which is our uh, pecan, it's a butter pecan pale ale. Um, so he actually roasts off pecans um, and throws those in the brew. Um, then we have a banana saison, which he roasts bananas and throws into the brew as well. Coconut Joe is a coconut coffee black IPA. So he cold brews coffee and pours that into the brew. And then the last one is our Old Yeller. So it's a lemon saison. So it's mostly lemon zest in the brew. You are very inventive with your flavors here. I like that. Speaking of flavors, they are known for their pizza. My husband and I stopped in here a few years ago on a Sunday. The pizza is to die for. Tell me about this one here. Is this one of your recipes? Yes, this is our farmhand favorite. So this is probably our most popular pizza, um, but it's just all the great pizza staples, um, Canadian bacon, Italian sausage, pepperoni, bell pepper, mushrooms, um, red onion, and then a three cheese blend. Okay, and a good charcuterie board is always a great thing. Yes, so we always have a little bit of goat cheese, um, some brie, fresh mozzarella, salamis, um, pesto, olives, pepperoncini, prosciutto, and fruit. Okay, beautiful salads also. Couldn't help but notice when I came in, you've got some really nice looking bakery items. I'm sure some people come out and have their breakfast and their coffee right here on this deck. They do, yes, it's very popular. You cook all that yourselves in here? We cook all of our breakfasts and then our cinnamon rolls are made for us locally. How nice. Uh -huh. Okay, talk a little bit about your accommodations because you can sleep quite a few people on this particular property. We can, we can sleep up to 42. Um, we have six cabins, three suites inside the bed and breakfast. Um, all of them have private hot tubs. We have a swimming Ooh. pool in the summer months. Ah. And then we serve breakfast each morning down here in the tasting room or on the deck. Just incredible. And the view that I'm looking at right now <laughs> is absolutely stunning in this patio. I could sit out here forever and sip this wine. Um, the wedding chapel. You have a couple of wedding chapels, Mandy, right? We do, yes. Okay, tell me about the one up here. When you first drive in, you can't miss it. It's beautiful. Tell me about that one. So we have the Treetop Chapel. It will seat up to around 150. Um, then we also have our Ledgestone Garden, which is an outdoor um, venue um, with a creek and a pond um, and an arbor. That one's really nice too. You can pick the day of so that if it's raining, you can do the chapel. Um, and then we also have Timberline Hall, which is our reception space that, that opens up to all these views. Um, and then we do have a smaller chapel that we first started with years ago that seats around 25 or 30. 
the the biggest thing with all of our events is that we do everything here so they're all inclusive um, the the catering is all done on site um, the cakes are arranged um, by pastries by Carla wow. we provide a, a photographer mm -hmm. um, an officiant a DJ we set up we clean up um, we even do the decorating so most of our brides just show up um, basically with a bouquet a dress and a groom Oh my gosh, that makes it easy. That's incredible. They have live music here on the weekends. They have the little huts out back. If the if it gets cool in the daytime or at night, that you can enjoy your wine. The food is incredible. Mandy, how do people learn more if they want to make a reservation? Um, the best way to make a reservation is just to go to our website, bearcreekbedandbreakfast.com. Um, all of our winery info is going to be on BearCreekWineCompany.com, and our wedding info is going to be on BransonGardenWeddings.com. Okay, all right. Here's to you, Mandy. Thanks. Let's cheers to Bear Creek Wine Company and Brewery. Just gorgeous. Thanks.